Welcome to our thought for the day. Our readings are taken from 1 Samuel chapter 1, Isaiah 46 and 47, and Revelation chapters 3 and 4. And our thought today is, You say, I am rich. We continue reading the thought challenge in the last book in the Bible, the message of Jesus given through his disciple John. We are fascinated by how much it includes detailed allusions to the Old Testament. For instance, our reading today of Isaiah 47, we note verses 3, 8 and 9 onwards, is about the pride and fall of Babylon. We will see as we read Revelation that passages such as chapter 18, verses 5 to 8 and uh, verse 20, etc., have a close parallel with what we read in Isaiah. Those who study it deeply perceive a close resemblance between the original Babylon and a latter-day spiritual Babylon. Revelation chapter 3 contains the final three letters to the different churches, and some think that they can see parallels in the history of the life of the church. The final letter, uh, letter having an application to Christianity in these last days. And it does seem applicable. Jesus condemns the last com community of believers at Laodicea for being lukewarm. Verse 16. And he says, Because you are neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Now they do not see themselves as Jesus sees them. He tells them, For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and need nothing they do not realise that they, in Christ's sight, are wretched, pitiable, poor, naked and blind. And that is in a spiritual sense, of course. This reminds us of the scribes and Pharisees Jesus often reproved as he walked around Israel. Just remember his comments about a Pharisee's self-righteousness in praying in the temple in Luke. 18 verses 11 to 12. But here in Revelation, Jesus counsels the Laodiceans to buy from me gold, refined by fire, that you may be rich, and white garments that you can put on. Verse 18. Pure gold is the equivalent of pure faith, and it is God's word constantly and prayerfully used that creates the essential foundation of true belief that leads to the gold of pure and sure faith. Jesus tells the Laodiceans, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him. I will grant him, or her, to sit with me on my throne. Verses 20 and 21. Unimaginable riches indeed. We are prompted to see parallels in the last message in the Old Testament. Who can endure the day of his coming? For he is like a refiner's fire. He will purify the sons of Levi, that is the priesthood, and refine them like gold and silver, and they will bring offerings in righteousness to the Lord. Malachi chapter 3 verses 2 and 3. Our Revelation chapter ends by telling us, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the ecclesias. That is the essential reason why we must all feed our mind on God's word every day. Well, thank you for joining us for another thought for the day. Just remember, take courage, because as the psalmist said, through God we shall do valiantly, for it is he that shall tread down our enemies. God bless. Mm -hmm.